Ken Whiting here again with Paddle TV. And in this video, we're reviewing another inflatable kayak. Now, when most people think of inflatable kayaks, they worry about durability. Can this thing handle bouncing into a rock, some rough conditions? Well, the kayak that we're testing today is the Star Raven Pro. Now, this kayak was designed specifically for river running from everything from fast flowing water to challenging white water. But just because it was designed for that, it doesn't mean it's good at it. And that's what we're gonna test today. So let's get this thing pumped up and hit the water. The Raven Pro retails for 825 US dollars. It's nine feet, 10 inches long. It's 38 inches wide. It weighs 39 pounds and it has a capacity of 275 pounds. Its primary use is river running. Now let's take a look at some of the Raven Pro's key features. The Raven Pro is made from a rugged PVC coated polyester, which is apparently very durable. It has a PVC coated drop stitch floor that inflates to eight PSI so that it's nice and stiff. The boat has 18 inches of rocker to climb over waves a high back kayak seat, removable foot braces, laced in thigh straps, stainless steel D-rings to attach your gear. And the package comes with a carry bag, a pump and a repair kit. One of the great things about the Raven Pro is that it also comes with a three year warranty. Sometimes it's the simplicity of a boat that I really appreciate. And that's what I'm seeing here with the Raven Pro. There's not a lot of bells and whistles. You know, these foot pegs, the system to install them is simple and looks to be bomber. The thigh straps, just again, simple systems. The way the seat is actually strapped down so it's not gonna move. That's the kind of stuff when you're, you want a more a higher performance kayak, that's important. So, but there's no bells and whistles. But the thing I like most about this boat from looking at it is it's providing me with a wonderful excuse to go paddle some white water. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Oh, oh, you'd think that I've figured this out by now. When you put sunscreen on, don't just grab your paddle. I've slimed my paddle and it's gonna take me a few minutes to get rid of all that sliminess. Dumb Ken, dumb, dumb Ken. I was too excited, too excited. Okay, here we go again, take two. Well, it's pretty much time to throw a helmet on. First Rapids just around the corner here. But, you know, even though this boat was designed for river running, it's worth talking about how it does on the flat water because it's not just a river running boat. This boat on flat water is not gonna win any races. In fact, it's probably gonna come dead last <laughs> or pretty close, but it might be the perfect boat for some people just for flat water because i mean it's it's comfortable it's playful it's a it's more of a lake toy than a lake kayak um, it spins on a dime i mean one stroke a full 540 degrees <laughs> what other kayak can you do that in uh you know this is the raven pro but the raven the non-pro version doesn't have foot pegs doesn't have the thigh uh, hooks and if this is the kind of thing you're after then there's no need to go for the Raven Pro that's for sure I didn't even use the thigh hooks for uh, for paddling in the flat water 
But yeah, great for the kids, great for just, you know, playing around in the lake. But that's not why we came here. We came here for some white water. And so it's time to swap it up and hit some waves. Well, I would now officially call this boat tested. <laughs> and here's what I can tell you about it. Fun boat. You know, it really is like an SUV or four wheel drive river machine going through. I mean, now that's bigger white water than most people will ever take this, this kayak on, but that's a great way to test it. How does it perform in that? If it performs well in that kind of white water, well, it's gonna perform well in smaller white water. It was beautiful. It, the way it just skipped over all the waves. And it's because there's so much rocker in the front of this boat, that's part of it. You know, it literally kicks up so much so that if I didn't have the thigh hooks and the foot pegs to really lock me in, I'd probably get bounced right out of this boat. The thigh hooks and the foot pegs are bomber. You know, I'm really impressed. There was no, it didn't feel soft or at, at all. I felt like I was in almost a whitewater kayak, albeit a really wide and super stable whitewater kayak. On the downside, I, you know, I don't know if it's a day. Yeah, it is a little, potentially a little downside. It's what you'd expect. This thing is highly maneuverable, but you pay for it with speed. This thing, like it was on flat water, it's an absolute slug in the white water. It's hard to get any forward momentum going, but you don't really need forward momentum to get over stuff because it's such a, a four wheel drive. So, you know, if you want a fast boat, this is not the boat for you. If you want a fun boat that can deal with any type of river running, class one moving water or, you know, class four technical water, awesome boat, awesome boat. Well, that's about all I got to say. I hope you guys have enjoyed this gear review. If you have, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of this boat, any experiences you have with this thing. Hey, tell me about any other boats you want me to test out and subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already because we got lots more tips, tricks, paddling adventures and gear guides coming your way.